Hello once again audience and welcome back to our fourth installment on how to war. By now you should know a little bit about the chat applications, uh, what to do as far as requesting troops from your alliance gate, uh, what to fill, and you should have a rough idea as to what your base and what the primary focus of your war base is supposed to do. <laughs> Today we're going to cover time and space. That's right, time and space. Um, so, we know that the primary focus in war is to get five stars. A five star victory is 100% with the quick victory. So, what exactly are those five stars? Well, the first two stars are for a quick victory and the town center or a quick vi victory by getting 50% uh, destruction. That 50% destruction is based on the XP of the enemy's base. It is not based on the number of buildings, so don't make that mistake. Uh, the town center, let's go ahead and just, let's scout somebody. For instance, let's scout one of the lower bases that we've already hit, for instance. That way you guys can even have a reference as far as what I'm talking about. So this is a little gunpowder base that I hit earlier on today uh, for a five-star victory. Now, there is a wonder that makes this a little bit more difficult called the Forbidden City. You need to take that into account. This is the Forbidden City, right here. That is the Forbidden City. Um, if you are using the Forbidden City, ask one of your Alliance mates how to best protect it, where you should put it, because doing something like this is a bad idea. I'm going to Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, we also covered, uh, as far as space, and when I talk about space, we need to know exactly where our troops need to be in order to get that quick victory and not be in range or alternatively be right within the firing range of some of those primary units. <laughs> We're getting a little bit of background help. Yes. Say bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> okay, so we know, for instance, on this base that we've got two mortars and they've got a range of approximately eight and a half spaces. So we know that that's three and that's three, so that makes six, and that's seven, and that's eight. So we know that if our troops are here, there's going to be a radius coming from here out to about there, and it's going to go around. So if we were to rally our troops right here, we therefore know that they would not be able to shoot this thing without going through some walls, but they would be in range of actually taking out that town center very well. Um, however, that would be a poor decision because that mortar would simply go ahead and dump mortars or, or, or catapults, whatever, uh, would fire upon all of our troops, and we would have no means to actually defend it other than waste a tactic and sabotage it. That's right, baby. Now, there is an activation ring and town center troops. So within war, you can donate to your members, as we covered back in How to War Part 3. Uh, those town center troops have a radius uh, or circumference as far as activation in and around, I believe it's between 3 and 4. Um, thus to mean, when you get closer into the town center, they're going to pop out and potentially fire upon your troops. Uh, this, is, this is catastrophic and quite oftentimes uh, uh, wars are won based on town center troops and how well uh, you're able to keep that alive and allow them to get out. So you've got to use your tactics and this is the time aspect of it. So there's space as far as knowing how far this thing is going to fire, complemented with knowing where you're able to rally in order to fire upon the town center. Um, let's go through some of the other bases just as examples. Uh, so, for instance, here, we've got an excellent rally point, drop location and a rally point because we know that all of our troops have a range of five, and this is only one, two, three. We can get within three. So all of our troops would have the ability to fire upon that. And as a matter of fact, one, two, three, four. 
So we could actually take out both of these, all three of these things, just by rallying underneath this building, obviously. So once that stable fell, if you rallied right there, sabotaged right there, you would have the ability to actually knock off the town center for the quick victory. One of his primary uh, defenses, which is the catapult, and this cannon tower right there. And there's no forbidden city, so that makes it a little bit easier. <clears throat> this is also a good example as to why you should be paying attention to, to your war base. Um, so here again, we got three, six, seven, eight. So if we rallied our troops right here, we would be under fire from two catapults. However, we don't need to. This is almost a natural uh, where we could drop our troops here. We could rally somewhere like there and take out the town center. Now, that's the space. The time factor, let's go a little bit more into detail on that. What does that mean? The time factor, as you well know, when you go and attack, you have a timer up at the top. You also have tactics that are specifically used uh, for the purpose of sabotaging things. Uh, when you sabotage things, it lasts for a specific length of time depending on the level of sabotage you are using. The sabotage is the primary tactic that you're going to need if you're planning on being successful in war. That's right. See, the baby agrees even. Uh, it takes 45 minutes to build. Radius is only two, um, but it does allow you to actually get three buildings. If you go on the right side by side, you can get three buildings. Uh, the duration for mine, which is a sabotage level three, as you well saw, is 16 seconds. So the time factor means that while you are attacking, we'll go ahead and lose a, lose a battle just for you guys. While you're attacking, you need to keep an eye and actually be able to do some math relatively uh, because you have to actually drop the sabotage and you can see up here let's just go right up there you can see up there that's where the battle timer is once it starts you need to be able to figure out okay I've got my sabotage will last for this long so you drop it and then you count down in order to understand if you're actually go, running the risk of having the town center troops pop out. Uh, the town center troops have an instant spawn time. There is no little bar that you need to watch for. If you're in the radius, they're coming out. Uh, so there's no, there's zero forgiveness there as far as your war attack. So it is important to actually note that time factor and the space factor. Uh, on some bases, I like to go ahead and sabotage first and then rally uh, and it's usually depend the variance is if I have to go through some fa fairly high walls or not if the walls look like butter you're better off doing the sabotage first and then rallying to a position where you're one not under fire and two able to fire upon the town center for that quick victory so quick recap before I run away time and space Space. Let's go ahead and uh, my base is a bad example. We'll do one of the higher bases. So, space. You need to be within a five range in order to actually hit the town center. That's your first two stars. Quick victory by uh, killing the town center within the first 30 seconds of battle, or first minute of battle, I think it is. Uh, or 50%, that's your quick victory, uh, and that'll get you two stars. The third star being your 50%. By default, if you get the quick victory by 50%, uh, you're going to then, of course, already have three stars right off the hop. The fourth star is for your 75%, and the fifth star being your 100%. But you've got to note the distance uh, where you need to rally without being fired upon. So you have to be able to hit the stuff that's firing upon you, and get that town center right off the bat. Uh, now, as far as the time factor, you need to be able to watch the clock a little bit, and it does take a little bit of practice in order to note how long your sabotage lasts so you don't let those town center troops come out.
there's a zero spawn time on them and they will cap you and that'll be game over i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful uh, i appreciate your comments and suggestions down below don't forget to like and subscribe and as always keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time